Hello, my lovely sugars. Welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Today is week one of the J Wall Along 2022. Whip and chat. Yay! So, y'all definitely want to stay and watch through the entire video. You know what I mean? Nod, nod, wink, wink. Okay, uh, before we get into all of this, um, I have a new member to my YouTube channel. I do have the option uh, to join uh, my YouTube channel as a member. I have three different tiers. Feel free to check those out. No way, in any way, shape, or form is it, you know, necessary. You don't have to. It's just a way, <clears throat> excuse me, to support the channel. So, I want to welcome my new channel member, Andrea Kichi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Thank you so much for joining my YouTube uh, membership. And um, I really appreciate all of your support and everybody's support that is a member. Um, so, thank you. And welcome, Andrea. Okay. So, this is the first whip and chat for the J-Wall Along 2022. So, we are going to go into the items that I am going to be using today. Um, I am working on Spirit of the Ocean by Josephine Wall. This is from Uniquely Yours Down Under. It's a beautiful mermaid. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. Um, it's got 50 colors. I'm going to put that over to the side. And uh, it's got a lot of confetti. A whole lot of confetti, you guys. Woo! Okay, so let's go over. I am using Randa's Crafty Corner Peach and Mango today in my multi-placer and my single placer. Uh, Randa is also a wonderful sponsor for the event, camera, camera. <laughs> so thank you so much, Randa. I love, love, love her putty. It works fabulous. Don't have to change it out for at least a week, sometimes more. Um, it's wonderful. Okay, this is what I'm using for my trash drills. This is a new piece from Patriotic Team. Um, I've got a couple of trash drills in there. This is a beautiful aqua resin piece, um, and it's got a turtle on the top. A little, little turtle. So cute. So she has these pieces available in her shop. She is also a sponsor for the event. Um, so I will have, of course, all these links will be over to the right. And then this is my beautiful cover minder I'm using from Coverminder Saban. Look at that gorgeous seahorse with all of those blues and golds. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Now, because I use parchment paper, I don't usually use um, cover minders to hold anything back, um, but I do like to have them sitting out to look at because they are pretty. Okay, this is, um, I'm using a pen from Lazy River today. This was a gift to me. Um, a very special gift. I'm not going to get into it, but this was gifted to me by Matt and Stephanie with Lazy River, and um, it means the world to me, and they know that. Um, so Lazy River is also a sponsor, as well as Saban. Saban is a sponsor of the event. Sorry, didn't mean to leave that out. Um, but Lazy River is also a sponsor for the event, um, and I absolutely love, love, love Lazy River's pens. So thank you for being a sponsor. And of course, this is a Muni Made tray. I decided to use a smaller tray because I'm only going to be working on this small section here. Um, this is my pretty sparkly blue Muni Made tray. Um, and Muni Made is also a sponsor of the event. Absolutely love her tray. So I will have all of, all of this over on the right side in the description so you can see and check it out. Um, and today, what I'm doing is I am replacing some colors. And you can see on the canvas where it's sparkling, I've already replaced uh, 336, which is a very dark blue. I replaced it with metallic blue sparklers. And I might run out of metallic blue sparklers, so I probably need to go ahead and order some more. Um, but I have pulled, I think it's three colors that I'm going to replace uh, with sparklers in this canvas. So I'm super excited. So that's what we are going to be working on today. All right, so we're gonna get those in here. This is gonna be a shorter whip and chat, just to let you all know. Um, I have not been feeling well. Um, I was sick pretty much all day Friday. Um, <clears throat> I usually do my, my whip and chats um, on Friday to put out for Sunday, and I just, I was pretty much in bed all day with a migraine, um, with, um, I was actually physically sick and it was just not a good day. And today is Saturday when I'm recording this, I'm feeling a little bit better, but, um, my stomach's still a little, 
still a little grumbly. So we're going to probably make this a shorter whip and chat than normal. So I apologize for that. Um, I have worked on this side of the canvas where my hand is, is the actual end over here where you see my little, little finger. This is the end. I've done just about three parchment paper squares, which are this size. Um, so as you can tell, this is my third one. I'm going to finish this one today. So I'm making good progress. I, I wish I had done more, but I just wasn't feeling good at all yesterday. I pretty much was in bed and I actually went back to sleep. I think it was like around 8.30 uh, Friday night. I just, I was, I was wiped, wiped guys. Okay. Uh, looking at my notes. So yeah, so I was sick. Oh my gosh. I was sick. Jeez. It was horrible horrible migraines just cause so many other issues um, physical issues if you hear my cats in the background I apologize they're of course being crazy always always happens when I turn on the camera for whatever reason um, yeah they just they want to go crazy so um, okay so let's talk about last weekend I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a very long time last weekend um, was Adam and I's 12 year anniversary. I know, yay. Um, we've actually been married for 12 years. I can't believe it. There are some days where it's like, oh, am I gonna make it? <laughs> and then there are other days where I'm just thrilled. We all know how that goes, those of us that are married. You have your, you have your good days and your bad days, but you know, overall I wouldn't change it for the world. Sorry, I've just got excess um, putty coming out because I just replaced it. Um, so yeah, so we, oh, let me turn off my autofocus because it's going to be annoying. Um, so we ordered a really nice uh, bougie steak dinner. My cats are going crazy. Y'all, I'm going to have to lock them out of here. Um, ordered a really bougie steak dinner. And it's from our favorite place that we usually go to for our anniversary, but we haven't been for a couple of years because, you know, COVID. Um, so, yeah, Adam went and picked it up and we sat and enjoyed that and just had a really chill weekend. I tried really hard to stay off of social media and YouTube and all of that just so I was able to, you know, spend some quality time with Adam. Cause we don't really get to do that very much. I mean, with us, it's, you know, we'll come home. We always eat dinner together. Um, but after that, it's pretty much, we do our own thing. He usually goes and does his video games and I usually come back here and diamond paint. Um, you know, it's just how it is, but it's fine. You know, I'm not the type of person to be, oh my gosh, these cats. I'm not the type of person to be up you know, up my spouse's butt all the time. You know what I mean? I'm very independent and like to do my own thing. So, but we had a great, great weekend. Um, it was really nice. It was really nice. So yeah, 12 years. Ooh. And we have been watching a show. It's called Nosferatu. It's on Hulu. And I want to thank Stephanie, uh, Drills Are Girl's Best Friend, for recommending this show to us. I'm really into the dark like dark and evil shows, especially if it has anything to do with vampires. Um, I'm really into that. So we have been watching that. There are two seasons. We are in the second season. Um, it's really good. It's starting to get a little bit like, okay, where is this going? How much further can this go? But um, yeah, we're really, we're really enjoying it. So that's what we are watching. Um, the book I just finished reading can we just say, this is the weirdest book I have ever read in my entire life. Um, it was very good, and it, I'm trying to think of how to explain this without giving it away. Um, it, it focuses around mental health and some, you know, struggles with mental health, but in the strangest, strangest way, I've never, ever read anything like this. So the book is called um, 
the last house on Needless Street in here. I'll show it to you. Um, pull up my library. Let's look. Title details. Um, it's on Audible. Okay. Um, the last house on Needless Street um, by Catriona Ward. Y'all. Y'all. It's... It's so strange, but it was so good. It's 12 hours, so it is It is a little lengthy. Um, 12 hours, so I highly recommend it if you like weird, weird stuff. <laughs> um, it was it was really good. <clears throat> okay, so how many of you are going to order from Diamond Art Club today? I know they've got some, you just don't want to release these, these drills. Oh my gosh, come on. Yep, doesn't want to release it. Um, how many of you are going to order from Diamond Art Club today? Because today is Saturday. I really want Medusa. However, it is a square drill. In fact, all of their canvases. Um, wow, it just doesn't want to let go. <laughs> all of their canvases this week are square drills. So I am not going to be purchasing it. I really, I went up in the air about it. And I even talked to Adam about it. And I was like, you know, I love the image of Medusa, but it's a square drill, and y'all know, if you've been here long enough, I just, I am not a fan of square drill cuts. They take me way too long. I'm just so OCD about the placement of them, and it just, it's almost more frustrating than enjoyable for me, so as much as I want that cut, I just, I don't see me doing it. Like, I just see it sitting in my stash like so many other kits I have. Um, so, yeah, I am not going to do that. But let me know how many of you are getting kits and put, you know, down in the comments which ones you are going to get. So, okay. So now we're kind of in the middle of the video, so we're going to stop this for a minute. So, this is where I'm going to give you the keyword to put in the comments below for the first prize for the J Wall along 2022. The first prize being given today is going to be one of Patriotic Team's gorgeous ice cream scoops. This thing is just fantastic. Um, this all right here is acrylic. The handle, it is so heavy. It is fabulous. I mean, look at that. I use this all the time whenever I do ice cream. We also use this to scoop out if we make cookies. Um, you can use it to make, you know, to scoop out your cookie dough and put it on your, on your cookie sheet. I just, I can't, I, I just can't. I can't tell you enough about this scoop. It's gorgeous. Patriotic Team um, hand makes the handle on her lathe. And Stephanie just does a fabulous job with these. So, um, one lucky person will be getting an ice cream scoop. And it's not going to be this exact one. Um, it's going to have different colors than it, other than, you know, aqua and pink. I don't know what it's going to look like. She hasn't showed it to me yet, but I know she's going to incorporate um, colors of, you know, J wall, probably some pastels. So, um, yeah, so this is the first prize for the J wall along 2022. So in the comments below, I want you to use the word scoop in a sentence. Scoop. Yes. So that is your key word. Now, I will draw the winner um, for each one of these uh, prizes. I'm going to draw the winner the following Thursday of each whip and chat. So I will pull the winner for the ice cream scoop on Thursday, March the 10th. And I will just put up a quick uh, video on my YouTube channel with the winner. And, um, you know, for this particular prize, the very first one, I'm only going to be looking for a start photo because I know a lot of people are waiting for things to come in and haven't started on it yet or have it in their stash and just haven't, haven't been able to get to it. So for this week, the first week, I'm going to pull a start photo, which you can post either in the, um, on Instagram, which I prefer, or in the new Facebook group, which I'll have all this information over to the right. And you also have to make sure you fill out that Google document form. So I will check the Google document form to make sure you filled that out. I will check Instagram and I will check Facebook for a start photo. Now, for those of you that don't use Instagram or Facebook, 
and I know there are a couple of you um, that have already done this, you can email me the start photo. Um, I already have those in a folder, so um, I will also check there. So that is how you are going to get the ice cream scoop. Start photo, Google document, put the word scoop down in the comments below. Those are your, your three, three things. And I will pull the winner on Thursday, March the 10th. So stay tuned for that. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> okay, <coughs> excuse me. Wow, I am just, I'm trying to feel better, but man, it is, it has been rough. Um, I do want to send out some prayers and well wishes to so many people that need them right now. Um, there, there are lots of people in our community that are going through a lot of really tough, tough times right now. And I just want all of you to know that I'm thinking of you and I'm sending you um, healing hugs and prayers. Um, yeah, and of course, praying for everybody that's affected by what's going on um, in the world. Um, I don't want to get into it because I don't know how much I'm going to be censored on the channel if I mention it, um, <clears throat> but you all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, just a lot of scary stuff. Okay, uh, what else? Oh yeah, so mom and I went walking this past Wednesday. I put up a short blurb on Instagram just to have proof that I was actually outside and that I didn't burn up from the sun because, you know, I never go outside of my house. <laughs> I was waiting for me to just, you know, catch on fire as soon as I walked outside. Um, but anyway, it was a gorgeous day. It was like 70 degrees and we went outside for a beautiful walk around the neighborhood. There was a house behind us that um, went up for sale. So mom and I wanted to walk by and look at it. Um, so yeah, we had a great time uh, walking. It was so pretty and we just, you know, we were able to chat and walk. But let me tell you what, my legs, I was fine Wednesday. After Wednesday, no ma'am. Just no ma'am. Oh my gosh. It was, it was so bad. Uh, Thursday, I could barely walk. Um, cause we walked, I mean, it was over a mile. Um, and that's, I know that's not a lot for some people, but for me that hasn't done any walking in years, uh, that's a lot. Um, and there was a hill. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I couldn't walk on Thursday very well. And I was like hobbling around. I looked ridiculous. <laughs> but um, as you know, I'm in therapy uh, for my anxiety and depression and my agoraphobia. Um, and my therapist said, you know, let's start. You really need to get out of the house. Let's start with some walking. Um, and then I'm going to build up. Basically, I'm doing what's called grounding. I'm going to do grounding exercises. So what this is, is you pick some places that you would feel somewhat comfortable on a scale of like, you know, 10 to 100 in increments of 10. Um, you know, somewhat comfortable, like a 10 to 20 range. Um, and do those to try and work up to actually getting out of the house. Uh, without me having a full-blown anxiety attack. So um, next week I'm going to work on, I'm going to go to the drugstore. And um, what you do is you go into the drugstore and you don't have to buy anything, but you go and you pick something up and you focus on the item in your hand. And so like if I went to pick up uh, like coffee, um, you would pick up you know, the box of the K-Cups. Um, you want to focus on the color, the shape, the feel of it in your hand. You want to think about how you're making your coffee and, you know, what you use to make your coffee, what kind of cup, what you put in it. All of these things you want to think about to take your mind off of the fact that you're actually somewhere that you're not comfortable with. And then, you know, my therapist said, you know, you can either buy the coffee or put the coffee back and then walk out of the store. So you're, you're not in there very long. It's just to gradually start building me up to going places. Um, and then I'm going to actually 
also try to go up to, we have a mall here, an outside mall. Um, I'm going to try and go to that mall and just walk around. Don't have to go into a shop, but just be around people. But I'm outside, so I have a very easy exit. I always have to see a way out of my scenario. Um, so I'm going to try those two things next week. Um, so I will definitely... Uh, hopefully do a video of that. We'll see how I feel, um, but I will keep you posted on that. So yeah, so my first walk getting out of the house was very successful and I enjoyed it with my mom. It was great. So I highly recommend with um, nice weather coming up. Um, if you can get out and even if it's just, you know, sit outside in the sun, get some of that vitamin D. Um, of course, wear your sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen. Um, but yeah, it was, it really made me feel better. Like my spirits were lifted by getting out of the house. So that was good. Okay. So yeah, let's talk about my next door neighbor's house is, I, I, I've told you guys this, um, it, it's for sale and it actually went up on the market yesterday. Um, they've been doing all kinds of you know, cleaning over there. They had um, the carpets cleaned. They had the house power washed. There have been so, there's been so much activity over there in the last week. Um, they moved everything out, so they are gone. I am sad. Uh, they were really nice people, and I am stressed about you know what kind of neighbors, uh, what kind of neighbors are we going to get? Um, I hope they're going to be nice and not complete you know asshats. Um, we've been so blessed to have such wonderful neighbors um, in this neighborhood. Um, it's just everybody's so nice and thoughtful and you know haven't had any issues so let, let's hope that continues. Um, but there were so many people over there yesterday you guys. So I want to say at one point I counted 12 cars listed like lined up on the street and in the driveway. Of people just walking around now it could have been agents you know looking at the house but um, the actual agent selling the house was there too because there were people going inside of the house so maybe it was some kind of open house for agents I'm not sure but there were so many people over there oh my gosh and then we got up this morning and there's already more people over there today so the house is gonna sell today for sure um, the pictures once everything has been cleaned out, the pictures are actually really nice. Um, it does need some work. Um, I think I've mentioned this before when our friends looked at the house. Uh, the kitchen needs to be gutted. It's like straight out of like 1985 with like, you know, the, the like cream colored cabinets with wood around them that have no handles and um, it's painted like a really bright shade of blue it's 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 pretty bad um, but other than that I mean it looks really nice um, yeah so I'm sure it will sell this weekend um, so we are interested to see who's who's gonna buy it um, so fingers crossed we get uh, some nice neighbors um, work on our house is going to start uh, at the end of March, so in just a few weeks. I'm a little stressed out about that because there's going to be a lot of banging and hammering and, you know, a lot of people here working on the outside of our house with replacing siding and then painting the whole house. So that's going to start at the end of March. Yes, so I will keep you posted on that. Um, let's see. So yeah, um, I have really enjoyed seeing all of the the pictures that people are posting of their Josephine wall kits. Um, they're, they're just so pretty, and there's so many kits that I wish I would have gotten. Um, but a lot of them are from Diamond Art Club, of course, and they are all square. Uh, anything that they had from Josephine Wall has been a square kit, just because of the amount of detail in them. So I totally understand that. Um, and I do have Gemini from Diamond Art Club just because that's my zodiac sign. So we'll see if I actually do that one. Maybe next year, if I do this event next year, 
we'll see. Um, I am sad that Diamond Art Club is not going to be offering Josephine Wolkett's anymore. Um, not sure what happened there, but um, yeah. But you can always get a Josephine Wolcott from Uniquely Yours Down Under. And, of course, they are a sponsor for the event. And you can get 10% off right now on any uh, kit from Uniquely Yours Down Under by using the code JWALL2022. Um, so please go check that out. Yes. So, yeah, I'm almost finished with this section. Um, yeah, but I've really enjoyed seeing all of the pictures and... Um, you know, as much as I just like Facebook, I, I'm thrilled at seeing everyone, you know, participating in the Facebook group. I'll have that link over in the description as well. Um, please join that group if you are participating in the event. Um, there are lots of questions being answered over there. Um, we did have a question. I do want to clear this up on my video. We did have a question about the mystery cut from Josephine Wall that was offered by Diamond R Club. Um, so what we've decided is, yes, you can enter the mystery cut into the Josephine Wall event. However, because we don't want to spoil it for other people, we don't want progress photos being shown on Instagram or um, on Facebook if you're participating in the event. Now, if you're not in the event and you just want to show your photos, that's totally your choice. But if you're in the event, what, what we would like you to do is go ahead and just email me your progress photos so that way no one gets upset um, for those of the people that have the the kit and haven't worked on it yet and they don't want to see what the image is um, yes and I know there is also a Facebook group dedicated to the mystery kit from Diamond R Club I'm not sure of the name of it but I'm sure you can search and find it um, so definitely you know join that as well if you are working on the kit because you can post um, I think you can post your progress there in that group. Um, but yeah, so if you're working on the mystery kit, please just email me your uh, progress photos. Um, the start photo, you know, you can probably go ahead and put that in the group as long as it's covered by, um, you know, release paper where you can't see the image, you know. Um, but yeah, any progress photos, please just email me those on the mystery kit. So yes, um, yeah, and the Facebook group, like I said, it's J Wall Along 2022. Um, I want to thank Bev B Diamond Paints and Drills Are Girls Best Friend. I want to thank them both for being wonderful admins to the group. They've been very, very active, and it saved me a lot of um, stress because uh, I am not on Facebook very often. I am trying to make it a habit of where I at least go in. Uh, once a day and look at the activity and try and post, um, you know, po post likes, loves, comments when I can. So um, I want to thank everybody for their participation in that group as well as thank my lovely mods. Um, yes, so I think that's all I've got for today. Like I said, I'm not feeling 100%, so this is going to be a short a short whip and chat but look at those pretty sparklers down there oh my gosh they're so pretty I can't wait um, the other one I am replacing is 704 I'm gonna replace that with um, a, a sparkler oh I don't have my autofocus on but yes so that's gonna be another one that I replace so I'm looking forward to that as well so yeah lots of events going on right now um, there's the um, I can never remember this. It's Mermaids and Magic event with Shay and Butter. And then there's also one um, Emerald Along with Emeralds and Fairy Lights. And um, DP with Sparklers is actually doing an event as well. Um, I should probably get in on that since I'm using Sparklers. Uh, yeah, so many events going on right now. So definitely uh, check all those events out. Yes. But I think that's all I have um, to talk about today. So stay tuned. Thursday, March the 10th, I will announce the winner for the gorgeous ice cream scoop from Patriotic Team. Yes, ma'am. Um, you know what to do. I already said it in, in, the, in the video. So I'll say it again. Just... 
just for shits and giggles. Okay, Google document form. Uh, start photo on Instagram or Facebook group. Um, and put the word scoop in a sentence down below. There you go. Okay, and I will pull the winner on Thursday. So I am gonna continue working on this. Hopefully I will get across this whole bottom row um, by next week. Fingers crossed. We'll see how I feel. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but again, thank you so much to everyone who has participated in the event. And of course, to all the sponsors. I will have everything over on the right side um, in the description. Feel free to contact me with any questions. And if you made it this far, uh, let's do, let's do, I think they have a seahorse emoji. Let's do a beautiful seahorse. Look at that cover minder, y'all. Oh my gosh. Let's do a seahorse emoji for week one of J Wall Along 2022. Again, thank you to everyone for participating, and I will see you again next week. Bye, guys.